after the deep sadness of the F sharp minor fugue, the G major prelude comes as a renewal of life. Uh, it erupts like spring, really. <laughs> It is in fact one of the perhaps two preludes in this first book that could be described as openly virtuous. It's certainly absolute extravert music. Um, it's a bouncing sort of, sort of energy. It lasts probably between 30 and 40 seconds. Uh, so it just does its thing and it goes almost immediately before you have time to grab it. The fugue, on the other hand, uh, sets for a considerable time, mainly because of the length of its subject, which is... So, with a subject of that length, it is natural that the fugue as a whole will take a bit more time to, uh, to develop. Uh, it's not a very complex fugue, it's a good, humoured, jovial fugue which reminds me very much of the uh, cadence from the 5th Brandenburg, Brandenburg uh, Concerto for Harpsichords. So... so when you have these... Uh... It is really the same Bach who is talking, or it is really Bach saying more or less the same thing, uh, which is simply joy and pleasure, pure physical pleasure of being alive. Uh, this is also one of the fugues where the subject gets uh, in its mirror form, uh, which does something like that. Um, it builds up to a sort of a frenzy and then it exhausts the energy uh, so that the piece actually ends in a sort of peace because the energy has been spent. So I'll play the very end. <laughs> There is a sense of peace coming at the end, as if, yes, after all this energy has been spent, this is the time for repose, really. <laughs>